So first China exported the virus. Now it is looking to control businesses which have been hit by the very same virus. Could it get worse? The answer, unfortunately, is yes. Here's something else that China is exporting. Exotic animals, the ones that were being sold in the wet markets, the wet markets which had supposedly been shut by the Chinese government, the markets which have been called disease incubators. They're back in action. Far from dissuading trade in such animals, the Chinese government is incentivizing it. They are offering tax rebates to traders of such meats. This report has more. These are the symbols of the coronavirus outbreak. China's live animal markets, also known as wet markets. They are up and running again. After the outbreak, China had announced a ban on wet markets, but the announcement wasn't followed by action. Case in point, traders in Guilin in southwest China they reopened the market as China eased coronavirus restrictions. In fact, all over the country, the wet markets are making a comeback, thanks to the Communist Party. Chinese traders are being offered incentives to grow their business. The focus now is on export. According to a report, Chinese authorities are now offering a 9% rebate on export of animal products. The tax break is for the trade of edible snakes, turtles, primate meat, beaver, civet, musk and rhino horns. China has turned a problem into an opportunity. It banned sale and consumption of wild animals in February, but now it wants to export them. The coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan was linked to the Huanan seafood market. It was quickly shut down. Today, the public has no access to the site. A Chinese spokesperson has termed these markets a health risk. A statement was issued that said, the prominent problem of recklessly eating wild animals and its potential risk to public health have aroused wide public concern. Now, China is exporting the same problem. While wildlife trade is a minor component of exports from China, the tax breaks could help it grow. Most of China's live reptile exports go to Vietnam. South Korea, Japan, Hong Kong and Indonesia also import a small amount of reptiles. Chinese wet markets are often called disease incubators. These are the places where animals are slaughtered and sold. Many people flock to these markets, mainly because the items sold there are cheap. But these markets are dangerous. The presence of live and dead animals in such conditions facilitates the transfer of diseases from animals to humans. It has happened before. In 2003, Researchers in Hong Kong had identified civets as a potential source of SARS, a disease that killed around 800 people around the world. China didn't stop wildlife trade then. There were repeated warnings, but Beijing paid no heed to them. 17 years later, China is doing the same. What's worse, it is now trying to export these potential carriers of disease to the rest of the world. Bureau Report, we on World is One.